we are gathered here today. Uh, because um, we've got many of the smartest minds in technology here, and many of you ask, so what? Often after Founders Forum, you're like, so what? Um, let's make an impact. So now we want to help use all of you to help us make an impact. Um, obviously, um, this is about the fight for democracies above autocracies. This is about Ukraine. Um, so we've had, today, we've had a lot of focus on Ukraine. We've had a wonderful brainstorm on truth. We've had bursts from Ukrainian entrepreneurs, Ira from Sunflower, Olga from the Kiev Independent, Dima of, Re, of Reface. We are about to have after this a round table hosted by the UK Foreign Secretary on what we can do to rebuild Ukraine and to stop disinformation as well. Many of you, I know, have made donations or committed time to show support uh, to the people of Ukraine, but I know you want to do more. At Founders Forum, we've asked ourselves the same. So this year, we're using our platform and our amazing community, which is you, um, to highlight the ongoing efforts in Ukraine. And we want to raise support, both financial and technological, um, for the people who need us most. Founders Forum is right now uniting Europe's seven largest tech festivals with a combined reach of 200,000 of the smartest entrepreneurs in the world. And we want to deliver a very important message. Hello, everyone. We are coming to you from across Europe. Listen to this lineup. Brilliant Minds in Stockholm, Vivitech, that's in Paris, The Next Web in Amsterdam, and from Founders Forum just outside London. We are also very excited to include Super Return in Berlin, London Tech Week, AI Summit, and Dublin Tech Summit. I'm Gail King at CBS News. I'm Amanda Holden, actress and TV host. I'm Ira Ariela Kai, tech founder, CEO, and proud British Ukrainian. I'm Peter Gabriel, singer, songwriter, and activist. I'm Dima Schwert, tech founder, CEO, and proud Ukrainian. I am Bernard Henri Levy, philosopher, writer, and filmmaker. Most of us are lucky to live stable and normal lives. But for my friends, my colleagues, and collaborators in Ukraine, life has become an existential struggle. Everything they know has been turned upside down in just a few months. Thousands have lost their lives and many more have lost loved ones. Millions of people have been forced to flee their homes and escape their own country with nothing but the clothes on their backs and a few meager possessions. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Families have been split apart, and many more live in constant fear and danger. In a few minutes, we'll meet a brave and humble man at the heart of the struggle who has risen above expectations. He did not choose to have his nation into this bloody war. But when the aggressor stood on the doorstep of his country and began raining shells on his people's homes, he rallied his country and he rallied his troops into action. Today, we are rallying our own, the leaders and free thinkers here today. We invite you to listen to President Zelensky's message. Unite behind him and show your support for Ukraine. For those who cannot hear the president talk live, you're in luck. Technology, we've got it. And the social networks will ensure his words are just a click away. His holographic address will travel far and wide in augmented reality. With luck, the president's message will inspire the worldwide tech community into action in support of his cause. Technology has so many applications, but today we want to use it to its full potential. It truly is a united tech and creative community who want to rally behind this very important cause. And they are delighted, and delighted is a word here, to say they have the opportunity to do some real tangible good right this second. We can take action by withdrawing technology from the Russian leadership, by building technologies that can help the Ukrainian war effort, 
by backing startups, by outsourcing development to a talented Ukrainian workforce, and by inspiring and motivating whoever we can to keep the message alive. Please welcome my hero, President Zelensky. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a time of super opportunities. It's no longer a science fiction that artificial intelligence is now as smart as humans. It's not just in the news. This is the reality, data from state registers, banks, and other sensitive information is stored in cloud services. Perhaps it's unusual for presidents or heads of government to use a hologram to address people, but this is not the only aspect of Star Wars that we are putting into practice, we will defeat the Empire too. Well, it's obvious that all of these technological possibilities can change public life. They can simplify government to people and government to business relations. No bureaucracy, no corruption, no delays. For the first time in human history, the state is 100% comfortable for people. That is our goal. And we can make it real. We have already proved that digital infrastructure is the most stable and efficient one during the war. And now we offer the world's leading tech companies a digital land lease that is our offer to you. Just as land lease helped save Europe and the world from tyranny during World War II, the digital land lease can now become a key contributor to the victory of democracy in the struggle against an empire that hates everything modern. It's in Ukraine. And right now that we can release the most advanced technologies to help people and protect institutions during this war. The most mobile digital governance, where all services to people and companies will be provided online quickly and without officials. 100% cashless and paperless, distance learning and telemedicine, which are crucial during the war. And of course, of course, the use of artificial intelligence in the judiciary and the notary system. No other country in the world will offer you such a chance to use the most advanced technologies at the state level. It's an experiment a digital revolution and the modernization of the current system all at the same time. Ukraine is a chance for you, for your companies, your technologies, knowledge, expertise and investments. All of these can show their value and do it in Ukraine. This is why, that is why we offer the digital land lease. In the coming weeks at the conference in Lugana, Switzerland, dedicated to the reconstruction of Ukraine, we will set out the details of this plan and write. After this conference, you can also join the digital revolution in Ukraine, in Europe and in the world through our state platform, United24. We are launching a major digital initiative, Digital for Freedom. Everyone will be able to contribute to the development of digital infrastructure the way you like, building new history together, building new Ukraine together, free, brave, and digital. Thank you and glory to Ukraine. Thank you, Mr. President. We all stand with you and the people of Ukraine. It has been an enlightening experience to be part of this today, and we will help in any way we possibly can. Good luck. Remember this war, is not only about Ukrainians. We are defending the common democratic circle and countries. And keep supporting Ukraine while we keep fighting. Please uh, support Ukraine uh, till the victory. It's super crucial for the development and existence of the future democratic world. Slava Ukraine. And excuse my Ukrainian, but why toot? We are here. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh. That was quite something. There, we have uh, a, a little message from the Prime Minister who also wanted to show his support. And then Brent and I will come up on stage. Please take a picture of this QR code and send it wide. That is the, his address in, um, in augmented reality, uh, available right now. More than three months after Putin's unprovoked, unjustified and unforgivable assault began, it's never been more important that the free world stands as one with the people of Ukraine. That's because the longer their heroic resistance continues, the louder and the more numerous are the calls for compromise and for appeasement. And the greater, therefore, is the danger that this bloody conflict becomes mere background noise in our daily lives. We know that Putin is relying on precisely that Western weariness and apathy to present him with a path out of the tragic situation that he has created. Because he knows he can only win if Ukraine is abandoned by her allies. And we simply must not let that happen. So I'm very pleased to see the tech industry coming together tonight to show that they're anything but apathetic, anything but weary, and that they have not forgotten Ukraine. That they have not forgotten their friends and colleagues in Kiev's thriving tech sector, who just a few months ago were building their country's future, and tonight, uh, I'm afraid, are fighting for it. Some have literally swapped their MacBooks for N-laws. Others are applying their phenomenal skill sets to the technological demands of modern, of modern warfare. And still more are producing that amazing digital content that's keeping Ukraine at the top of social media feeds around the world, delivering victory through superior meme power. I'm proud to see British tech firms doing their bit, continuing to work with and invest in Ukraine, even as the conflict continues. And it's fantastic to know that when my good friend President Zelensky and his people achieve victory, and I believe that's a matter of, of when that happens and not if, then you will not hesitate to use your expertise and insights and experience to reconstruct both the industry in Ukraine and the country itself, building a strong and prosperous Ukraine for generations to come. Thank you all for coming tonight, and Slava Ukraini.